Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm very excited to show you how to crochet these beautiful happy fall leaves. There are so many bright colorful leaves outside this fall and they inspired me to create a pattern for you. This crochet leaf pattern can be used for so many different projects, both individual or in sets. You can use it as a coaster or hot pot pad. Stitch together, they can make great bunting for decoration, a party, classroom or home. Or as a motifs, they can be attached to hats, scarf, purses or bags. You can use the same pattern for so many different colors and uh, different sizes. As always, you can find the written pattern available at my website and all information are also in the box below the video. So grab your hook and some yarn and let's get started. This crochet leaf is worked first in the round and then later in a rows to create the many loops around the circle. Make a magic ring and then chain three. This chain three will count as one first double crochet, then chain 3 and in the circle put one more double crochet. And repeat this in the circle to create 8 groups. So one double crochet Chain three, one, two, three, and again one double crochet in the circle. One double crochet, chain three. and one double crochet. In the first round create eight groups of one double crochet, chain three and one double crochet. So once you have eight groups around the circle just tie the magic ring and join the last double crochet with third chain from the beginning by slip stitch. And our first round is ready. The second round we will start with chain three again as one double crochet. This chain three will count as one double crochet in um, all our project. Then in the chain three space put two double crochet, chain three and three more double crochet in the same chain space. So in the first group you will have three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. Then repeat that pattern in each next uh, six chain three spaces around the circle. So one, two, three, double crochet, chain three, and three more double crochet in the same chain three space. In the last group the pattern will be a bit different. So continue working in each uh, chain space. So you will have in uh, seven groups the same pattern. Three double crochet, chain three and three double crochet. And I will meet you in the end of this second round.
Okay, this is how our pattern looks like. And in the last chain 3 space, place 3 double crochet. 1, 2, 3. And chain 8. You can chain uh, more or less chains. We are crocheting a stalk now, so you can have it uh, a bit longer or shorter, also wider if you want. I made chain 3 as one double crochet and in the fourth chain for my hook place one more double crochet. Then into next uh, two chains I put one half double crochet again you can place more or less and then into each next i crochet one single crochet so i have five chains left and in each of them i crochet one single crochet you can also crochet slip stitch if you want you make the stalk thinner. Once you are in the end of your chain, of your stalk, um, again place three double crochet in the same chain three space. And we are done with our second round. Join the last stitch by slip stitch in the third chain from the beginning. And now we will slip stitch into each next two stitches. Then chain three as the first double crochet in the third row. Now we will work in rows, not in rounds. So chain 3 and then in the chain 3 space from the previous round play 3 double crochet, chain 3 and 3 double crochet. In each uh, next chain 3 space we will place 3 double crochet, chain 3 and 3 double crochet and this we will do in uh, all our project. Then one double crochet in the double crochet from the previous row. Now skip four stitches, four double crochet and put uh, one double crochet in uh, the double crochet from the previous round. In the chain three space put the pattern three double crochet chain 3 and 3 double crochet. So in a, a whole project you will repeat that pattern in each chain 3 space. 3 double crochet, chain 3 and 3 double crochet. And this is our third round and we add around this pattern 1 double crochet. And it's quite important because in each round we will add one more double crochet around this uh, group. So skip four stitches for double crochet and repeat the pattern. And you can continue with that pattern till the end of uh, this round. One double crochet group of uh, three double crochet, chain three and three double crochet and one more double crochet. My third round is ready and we will start the fourth one. Chain three as one double crochet and skip next two stitches, next two double crochet. And there will be two more left. So each of them put one double crochet. So two double crochet and you will reach the chain three space. 
So put our pattern there, three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet. You already know that uh, pattern. So in a previous round, we have um, around that pattern one more double crochet at the beginning and at the end. Now we have two more double crochet at the beginning and at the end of uh, this uh, pattern. One double crochet in the uh, next two uh, double crochet from the previous round. So one and two. And we will skip four stitches again, four double crochet from the previous row. And there will be two double crochet left till you reach the chain space. So one, two double crochet and you reach the chain three space. So you will repeat pattern of uh, three double crochet chain three and three double crochet and in the next two double crochet you will crochet uh, one double crochet so you will have one two three and then four And the last one with double crochet. Skip four and continue with that pattern. Now I show you how to finish this uh, row. There will be the chain three space made by uh, chain three from the previous row and put one double crochet into that chain three space. And that's it. The fourth row is ready and also our first and the last uh, group is ready. So we will not crochet any more round into that uh, first and the last loop and uh, by using slip stitching into each stitch and into each uh, chain we will move into the second loop into the second group of our pattern. So make slip stitching into each chain. Don't forget to put slip stitches into the chain three space. So there will be three slip stitches and we have five double crochet left. So five slip stitches. So once you have it ready we will start our pattern as always by th chain three as our first double crochet. Skip two stitches, two double crochet from the previous row and there will be three double crochet left. So one double crochet into each three uh, stitches till you reach the chain three space. Into chain three space repeat our pattern. Three double crochet, chain three and three double crochet. In that uh, fifth row we will have around that, uh, that pattern three double crochet. So let's finish our pattern, the third double crochet in the chain 3 space and now one double crochet into next three double crochet from previous row. So one, two and three. Skip four double crochet as always. So one, two and there will be three double crochet left till you reach the chain three space. So put into each of them one double crochet. So you will have three. So one, 
you see there are two stitches left so um, the second and the third double crochet and we reach chain three space so we will repeat our pattern three double crochet chain three and three double crochet and continue with that pattern till the end of this row please note that our first and the last uh, lobe is ready so we will not crochet into that uh, group I will meet you at the end and show you how to end up so this is how our pattern looks like and we will put into the chain free space from the beginning from the previous row one double crochet so you remember that pattern we already use it chain three and ten your work and we will continue with our sixth row so we have first double crochet ready we'll skip two stitches as always at the beginning and there will be four double crochet from the previous row left so we will make four double crochet there to reach the chain three space so in that sixth row we will have around our chain three space four double crochet so skip two and crochet one two three and four four double crochet now you reach the chain three space so we will put into it three double crochet chain three and three double crochet so you see we have seven double crochet in the row so one two and three and into next four double crochet place one double crochet so again you will have seven double crochet alongside so let's finish it and two more okay this is our last double crochet and we will skip four stitches as always and okay skip one two three four and there will be four stitches left till you reach the chain three so into each place one double crochet so one two three four and we reach the chain three space so we add three more so we will have seven double crochet alongside and the last one chain three and place three double crochet in the same chain three space and I repeat that pattern till you reach the end of our row now one double crochet into next four double crochet and you will skip four stitches then and continue working four double crochet then the group of three double crochet chain three and three double crochet four double crochet and skip four okay i'll meet you at the end again and we will finish up as always with one double crochet into the chain three space from the previous row in the next row we will not crochet in the last and the first lobe so we have already uh, four lobes ready and there will be only three uh, lobes uh, left and we will crochet into them now we have to move um, by slip stitching 
into next loop. So place one slip stitch into each stitch and into each chain. So now we reach the chain space and place a slip stitch into each chain. So three slip stitches around and continue slip stitching. This pattern I'm showing you is symmetric. So on the left and on the right side from the middle you have the same number of stitches and the same number of rows. So that's why we have to move by slip stitching into next loop and there will be three loops left now uh, which we will work in. Okay, so this is it. This is our pattern. So we have four loops ready and let's start next row. So this is our seventh row. Start chain three as one double crochet and skip two stitches. There will be five stitches from the previous row till you reach the chain space. Once again look at the pattern, you see, so there are three lobes in the middle to be finished. So one double crochet, the second one, third one, fourth and fifth double crochet, we reach the chain three space and we will put the group of uh, three double crochet, chain three and three double crochet and we will continue with our pattern so in that row we will crochet five dou more double crochet so we will have eight double crochet alongside Okay, so this is it. this is our first, second, and the third, and five more. So fourth, fifth, sixth. Seventh and eight. Skip four stitches as always and continue with the pattern. So into each five double crochet, place one double crochet and into the chain three group, three double crochet, chain three and three double crochet and five more double crochet. Skip four and continue with the pattern. Okay, we made five double crochet and reach the chain space and repeat it once more. Okay, this is it. The seventh row is ready. Place one double crochet into the last chain space. Chain three and turn your work and we will continue crocheting the eighth row. So skip two stitches and into each next place six double crochet. Okay, so we are working on the eighth row. So there will be six plus three double crochet alongside, so nine double crochet. So we have three, four, five, 
and a six. Sink double crochet as already and continue working into the chain three space with our pattern. So chain three. Oh, three double crochet, sorry. Chain three and three double crochet. A one, two, and three, and into next six double crochet, place one. So along we will have nine together, then skip four and continue working till the end of our row. And the next row will be our last row. So just finish it and uh, finish by one double crochet into the last chain space. Let's look at our pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six lobes are ready and we will crochet only one last row in the middle. So we have to um, move into the, the middle by slip stitching as always so place into each stitch and into each chain space one slip stitch so we have nine double crochet from previous row we'll make nine nine slip stitches along then uh, three slip stitches into the chain three space and finish by nine slip uh, stitches. And guys, we are almost done. Uh, only the last row is uh, to be finished. So start chain three as always, skip two stitches and there will be seven uh, stitches to left till the chain three space so crochet uh, into each one so you will have seven double crochet in the row and once you reach the chain three space place into it three double crochet so you will have in total ten double crochet alongside and between them there will be chain three so one more left chain three one two three and uh, three double crochet into the chain three space plus seven double crochet and hooray, we will be ready with our wonderful fall leaf. In the end, skip two stitches and finish one double crochet into the last chain space. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, and the seventh. There will be two stitches left. We skip them and uh, into the chain space, place one double crochet. This is it. A big congratulations! We have our full leaf ready. So let me repeat it. We have nine rows. In each row we add one double crochet uh, around uh, the chain three space and there are seven lobes and one stalk and the pattern is symmetric so what do you think uh, it uh, look like the real leaves oh <laughs> okay I love it 
I'm so excited that I made two more leaves. Look at them. Uh, they have the same pattern. So they have seven lobes, one stalk and nine rows. Okay, the green uh, and the orange one, they have the same pattern as the red one. I know, I know, probably at this moment you will tell me that the green and the orange one is smaller than the red one, but look at them, they really have the same pattern as I shown you. Okay, this is it. The only difference is I use the smaller crochet hook, three millimeter crochet hook for red one, two millimeter crochet hook for green one, and for the last orange I used one millimeter crochet hook. And this is it, just try it. Okay, I'll do final measurement. The orange one is 5.1 inches or 13 centimeters wide and 5.9 inches or 15 centimeters long, including the stalk. Okay, the white is the same as the pattern is symmetric. If you look at the red one, uh, this one is 6.7 inches or 17 centimeters wide and 8.3 inches or 21 centimeters long, including the stalk. And the last green one is 5.5 inches or 14 centimeters wide and 6.7 inches or 17 centimeters long. Let me briefly recap. We started with magic ring and made two rounds and then we worked in rows. In each row we add one more double crochet around the chain three space. And this is the end of our video guide. I really hope you enjoy as much as I do. And I'm looking forward for your feedback. Please let me know how your leaves look like. In case of any questions, I'm happy to help. If you like the video, please share it at the social media and give me your like. I would be also very, very happy if you join my crochet group and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much once again for watching, wish you happy crocheting, take care and hope to see you soon. Bye bye!